all right so this is a really cool place you can go to if you find yourself in the uk let's go to the upside down house so as the name says it's the upside down house like everything inside is upside down so technically you're walking on the ceiling it's an extremely instagramable spot you go there you take your pictures and you just have fun it's low-key disorienting though like being inside and everything being upside down this though isn't in london it's in brighton which is south of the uk but it's not too far from london and it's not too expensive to go into so if you and your friends find yourself in brighton definitely check it out 10 out of 10. so i recently went to this art installation by Sole. It's an interactive light box that senses movement. The backgrounds were mesmerizing. It was a part of the London Design Festival and free. Alright everyone, follow me to the Museum of London. So it's a really cool place. It carries you through the basic timeline of London from the before times. It goes from the prehistoric time to modern times and it's a really cool journey. Plus it's 100% free so if you're in London and you want to go to a museum, try the Museum of London. Alright, you guys have to check out this cool immersive art display called Room to Breathe. So it's a free little space right when you come out Tottenham Court Road Station. I'm not sure which side it is, so if you come out and you don't see it, it's not that side. So it's a pretty cool space. They have different art displays from time to time. This one is called Room to Breathe. It's kind of like a mindfulness exercise. Here you can see they have the breathing exercise where they make you breathe a little hold and then breathe in again. And then the art kind of breathes with you if you look closely. But yeah, if you have time, definitely check it out. It's really cool. Follow me to this networking event by Impact Brixton. So it was a really cool get together with all of these young professionals. There were games everywhere. It was a nice setup. There was even food and the food. The food was pretty good. And upstairs there was even a bar where we got free drinks for like the first two drinks and then you know regular drinks after that. And this is because she friend I went with. And remember I mentioned games? Yes, there was Connect 4, there was this beer pong type of thing, it was really cool. And at the end, we kind of closed off the session with like a comedy show type of thing, so we sat down ready for the comedy show. I wasn't allowed to film that part though, but all in all, it was a really cool experience and I'm definitely going to the next one. Alright, follow me to the Sea Life Aquarium in London. So obviously everything underwater theme, duh. Look at my hair by the way, I like the color. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so you have the sharks in the entrance that you walk over. Low-key scared to be honest. But yeah, here are my friends. So it starts out with some guppies along the way. You know, small fish. Here's me being dramatic. Alright, we're done. <laughs> yeah, we saw some anemones and hydra and all them things. It even took us into a rainforest section where we saw snakes and spiders and all those things. Even different types of insects, which was pretty cool to be honest. And they have an Antarctic section where they have, get it, wait, 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 guess, guess, guess. Penguins, they had penguins, it was really cool. To be honest though, I don't know how I feel about the aquarium because of the animals in captivity, but it's a cool thing to do. So yeah, it was good though. Alright, follow me, we're going to this cool setup in the middle of Leicester Square called Christmas in Leicester Square. So it's this really cozy little Christmas market that's right in the middle of Lisa Square. They sell things from food to jewelry to clothes and mulled cider, which, you know, I had to get because it was cold as hell. I was thinking of that or hot chocolate, but I was like, nah, I want the cider. <laughs> and that was my first time actually having mulled cider, but oh my God, it was so good. I swear, promise, hand on my heart. So yeah, if you find yourself in Nesta Square, definitely come out, look at the setup, it's so cool, love the lights. And I think there's a circus around there somewhere, so definitely check it out. Also, give me some commotion for my cameraman, he did so good. 